So it's the conveyancing silver fox himself, Rob Hailstone. Welcome, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Lorraine. You're going to have to stop using that expression, I think. No, I'm not. I, I think maybe silver wolf. I'm getting too old to be a fox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, Silver Wolf, it's got a bit of a ring to it, hasn't it? <laughs> All right, forget I said that, please, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and Stu, what would we call you, mate? I've no idea. I'm, I've been called many a name in the past, so... Uh, <laughs> I think no he's, the, he's, he's the Silver Fox Cub in waiting. Exactly, <laughs> I'm a bit exactly. Silver. I've got a way to go before I hit Rob's heights, but it's yeah, coming. <laughs> Well, um, we didn't we didn't want to talk about our animal monikers, Rob. We wanted to talk about National Conveyancing Week. You set this up a couple of years ago. It's really, really taken off. So we're just going to have a short chat with you about the 2024 National Conveyancing Week, which is which is coming up. So what are the dates? What's happening? Why did you decide to do it? OK, well, um, this is the second one this year. Um, it starts on the 11th of March and goes through to Friday the 15th of March. There's a number of online events throughout the uh, throughout the week. Um, any lawyer can can watch what they want, when they want, from the comfort of their own office, from the comfort of their own desk. They don't have to leave their offices. The whole thing is free for conveyancers. Um, it's kindly sponsored by a number of uh, you know companies out there um, who don't want anything in return for that. They're just sponsoring it out of the dare I say it, the goodness of their hearts. So so we're very grateful for them. Um, really looking forward to it. Uh, why did I do it? Well, this is my 50th year um, in this in this industry. I started in 74, 1974. So this is my 50th year. And, you know, I've been watching closely what's been going on for a long time now. And I think I've got survivor's guilt because I, I, I did conveyancing pretty much from 1974 to 2004. <clears throat> excuse me, just before hips came in. And I pretty much enjoyed my, my time at the coalface. I look at conveyances now in the 21st century, and I don't think they're enjoying it as much as I did. It's much more stressful, much more challenging, complicated in some cases as well. So it's given me a bit of survivor's guilt. And I wanted to give something back to the profession, non-commercial, back to the profession, before I you know hang up my spurs. Not that that's happening anytime soon, I hope. So I, I came up with the idea, I think, initially National Conveyancing Day. Then I spoke to David Oakley of today's media, uh, asked him if he'd help me with it, and we agreed we'd go for National Conveyancing Week. Whether we've bitten off more than we can chew, we'll find out in a week or two's time. So we, we, we set it up. Um, I, I think the other problem that conveyance has got, you know, everybody talks about mission creep. I don't think it's mission creep anymore. It's mission stomp. It keeps coming at them. AML, source of funds, source of wealth, building safety act. Possibly something in the budget to do with stamp duty. It goes on and on and on. So they're under the cosh. And I think conveyances are on the whole misunderstood, um, underpaid, um, underappreciated. And I wanted to try and raise their profile and the profile of the work they do, try and explain to the consumer eventually why they do what they do, because ultimately they're helping the consumer client buy the property of our dreams so they can live in it uh, stress-free, ha happily, and sell it in the future without any problems. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I think quite often um, when we talk about conveyancing, unfortunately, I think the industry's got sucked into a situation where we, we talk about how we could change everything. Rarely do we say actually how important the job is that we carry out, how complex it is, and what we're doing, i.e. protecting clients uh, and the money that they're using to buy their property. Yeah, I mean, we, I'm not after sympathy for conveyancers. I don't think conveyancers want sympathy. They just want a little bit of understanding about what they do, why they do it, why they carry out all the checks. You know, they're trying to protect the best interest, as you know, uh, the best interests of their clients. Um, and if anybody bought a house without a conveyancer, I think they soon find out they should have instructed one. Well, of course, lots of people have found that out, of course, with unregulated will writers. And I obviously have got to say there are lots of good ones out there. But Stu and I say probably every single session we talk on, run, whatever we do online, live, Rob, the one thing we always say, and it's the thread for law firms, law firms are properly insured. We've got professional indemnity insurance. That is the client protection and pretty much everyone else doesn't. Um, and it's such an important point. And that really underlines, you know, I think why, um, you know, conveyances, it's not just 
a job it's not just a an admin task far from it and and i think the trouble is and you're right a lot of it has just been reduced to that perception of you know electrical certificates and fencer certificates and the reality is nothing could be further from the truth well as you know we've got a lot of people we've got an online forum where we've got 1800 conveyances registered now they raise questions every single day they help answer questions for their their, their colleagues and their peers and they are complicated questions. There's probably five or ten new ones every single day. If anybody thinks conveyancing is easy, have a look at our online forum. It's not. As I said, I've been in this 50 years. I don't even understand some of the questions they're posting now. It's Which is interesting. So, Rob, um, National Conveyancing Week, 11th of March to the 15th of March. So I think we've probably just got two things we'd like to clarify with you. So firstly, <laughs> you've said, um, so we've got conveyances in practice anywhere who can watch everything online so uh, have you got any face-to-face -face events or is it all online uh no it's all online um yeah they, they can watch it online they can also get involved themselves and many firms will be getting involved so on the wednesday morning we have like a coffee morning like a macmillan coffee morning where law firms last year some of the uh, firms who uh, uh, involved in national Conveyancing week opened up their offices they invited in their estate agent contacts, their broker contacts, maybe some clients, whatever. They gave them talks or had discussions about conveyancing, what the process was, why it was so tedious at times or difficult for the client to understand. And that went really well. Um, 250 firms who registered first get a free promo box with uh, National Conveyancing Work uh, with goodies in it, which is like balloons and banners. Um, um, mouse mats, coasters, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they decorated their office offices. <clears throat> We've also got on our on a web store on that, and that, um, where they can buy some t-shirts if they want t-shirts. These are all cost price, and they can buy more promo boxes if they want to. So they decorate their offices. They invite people in. I was talking to one of the conveyances um, at the do um, about two months ago, and he said to me, "National Conveyancing Week, it's a revolution." And I say, well, I don't think it is yet, but why? What, what are you saying? So, well, we opened up our offices. We've got some estate agents in, some clients in, et cetera. It went down a treat. We're getting more work. But not only that, we're now holding one of those once a month in a local pub. And we're still getting new work under the auspices of National Conveyancing Week. And we're going to continue doing that for the foreseeable future. So if you get involved, it's not just about sitting back and watching. Get involved. Get people into your offices create more face-to-face -face business contacts and you'll get more work it's it's pretty straightforward really. do it the old-fashioned way not online so can firms still get the, the the national conveyancing week promo party packs now they can but not for free because we, we've sold out we, we have to buy them in ourselves and again that, that's down to our sponsors thankfully um but we've sold out we've got rid of all the 250 but you can buy them online they're 20 pound a box um so you can buy a box for an office if you want to it's not all the money you can decorate your office and you can find all of this on our website. Just type in National Conveyancing Week into Google. It will come up. There's resources there. There's, um, uh, um, the agenda is set out there, etc. How you can register to watch what um, online event you want to watch. Um, and they'll be recorded so you can watch them afterwards as well if you want to. Oh, so that's really useful. So, so Stu, um, you know, what's, what's your view as somebody at the top of a law firm? I think it's a great idea. And I think um, from a law firm's perspective, if you get involved, not only have you got all the benefits that Rob's just um, sort of explained, but actually internally from a, a team sort of bonding and team building sort of uh, exercise, maybe some of the secretaries and, and, and other staff that might not be uh, you know, near the top of law firms might not be aware of what's happening. But I think this is a great chance of actually sort of promoting the work that we all do. Uh, you know, both externally, but also internally as well. Yeah, you're right. And to have a bit of fun in the office, to yeah. relax for a few hours and pat each other on the backs for the work yeah. you've done. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Agree. Yeah, a bit of, rec bit of recognition. Yeah, yeah. Entirely. So, Bob, you said there's um, sort of basically, you know, free CPD um, online across the week for conveyances, which is fantastic, quite frankly. Um, so what would you say? I know it's it's probably a bit like asking you to choose between your children, Rob, but what would some of the, you know, what would some of the CPD highlights be, would you say? Well, I, I can very quickly won't run through uh, um, the main agenda items. We've got obviously material information and upfront information on the Monday morning, hour and a half of that. Put that to bed, can we? Watch it, listen to it, and make your own mind up. Are you pro material information, upfront information? Are you not? At least listen to the so-called experts about why it's there and what's going to happen in the future. 
Uh, we've got um, a session on digitizing conveyancing. Again, the pros and cons, uh, have a listen to that. <coughs> a mental health and wellbeing session. Um, we carried out a survey with the Homeowners Alliance, 2,000 um, property owners who bought within the last five and 10 years. Paula will be talking about the results of that survey. For example, 40% of uh, clients or consumers think that um, the conveyance that carries out the survey. So that's quite an interesting um, <laughs> discussion topic that's going to come up. We've got um, somebody from Savills talking about the econ economy and what the property market is going to look like in the future. And this will, of course, be just after the budget. So ooh, that's good timing for that. A and lots of other things as well. Excellent. Thank you, Rob. So for anybody interested, if you're a firm and you want to get involved in National Conveyancing Week on a, on a, on a bigger level, I've just checked, Rob, it's uh, conveyancingweek.co.uk. Couldn't be an easier uh, website address. But if you're an individual conveyancer watching this and you just want to log on to the various events for free to get your CPD and watch from the comfort of your own home or office, then uh, then that's available as well. Absolutely. It's free. It's fun. It's educational. Why not? Excellent. Well, Rob, well, Stu and I wish you wish you every success and everybody else involved every success with National Conveyancing Week, don't we, Stu? Uh, absolutely, yeah. You know, some you know people sort of giving something back to the profession should be applauded. So hopefully it will go really well for you, Rob. Thank you very much and thanks for your time today. No, not at all. It's lovely to see you and we'll see you again soon, Rob. Good luck. Take care. All right. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.